The easiest way to bind data to a control on a page is to use a data source control. There are a few of these in the data category of the toolbox, but in this lesson, you're going to use the link data source control. The link data source control retrieves data using your link to SQL classes. To begin this lesson, open the Spark project from your sample files folder. And open newtransaction.aspx in design view. Now add a link data source control to the page from the data category of the toolbox. Place it just before the Customer drop-down menu. Note that the placement of data source controls doesn't matter. Data sources aren't visible to people visiting the page, so you can place them wherever seems most logical. Now you're going to configure your link data source control to retrieve records from the Customer database table. First, set its ID property to Link Data Source Customer. Then open the Quick Tasks menu for the control and click Configure Data Source. In the first step of configuration, you must select which Link Data Context file to use. The link data context file is your DBML file. Since you only have one, that's the Spark data context, it should already be selected. If it isn't, select it. Now click Next. In this step, you can select which database table the data source is going to retrieve data from. This data source control is going to retrieve a list of customers, so select the Customers table from the Table drop-down. Next, click Order By to configure sorting. Sorting works in exactly the same way as using the Order By and Order By Descending methods in Link. You use these in Lesson 10.5. Select Customer Name in the Sort By drop-down menu and leave the Sort Order set to Ascending. Then click OK. Next, click Where. A dialog opens allowing you to configure query criteria, which work in the same way as the single and where methods in Link. You use these in Lesson 10.3. Select Customer ID from the Column drop-down, and this tells the Link Data Source Control that Customer ID is the database column that you want to use for your criteria. Next, select exclamation mark equals from the operator drop-down menu. This is the does not equal operator. You learned about it in lesson 7.3. Now click the source drop-down menu and select none. The source drop-down allows you to tell your data source to retrieve a value from several different sources. In this case, you want a value that doesn't change. None allows you to type in the value that you want to use. Click in the value box and enter 5. Although you're using the none source in this lesson, let's take a quick look at the other sources. Control retrieves a value from a control on the page. Cookie retrieves a value from a cookie. 
form retrieves an item from the page.request.form property, profile retrieves a value from a user profile, query string retrieves a value from the page.request.query string property, session retrieves a value from a session variable, and root retrieves a value from a web address. Next, click Add. Your new parameter has been added. This data source will now retrieve everything from the customer table except for customer ID 5. Click OK now and click Finish. Your data source control is now fully configured. You're going to make use of it in the next lesson. That's lesson 11 2. For now, close Visual Studio. And you've completed lesson 11 1. Use the link data source control.